My guest today is David from Colombia. David, could you introduce yourself, please? Hi, my name is David. I'm from Colombia, like she said, and the United States. She didn't say that. Um, yeah, I'm 27 years old. Um, so yeah, that's me. David, what brought you to Slovenia? What brought me to Slovenia? Um, love. Love brought me to Slovenia. Um, I like the peacefulness of the country, so I said, why not? Okay. How different is Slovenia from Colombia? Totally different. Well, it looks similar in nature and similar in food but in culture and all these social things that have to do with people it's different uh, we are more how do you say that um, we're always celebrating something we're always noisy we're always uh, enjoying things all, all the things we do but in a very extravagant way so in Slovenia people are more for me at least they're more uptight um, yeah okay what I like or don't like about Slovenia well I'm gonna start with the don't like uh, I don't like about Slovenia that people don't believe in Slovenia. Like, you guys don't like Slovenia yourselves, and that's a problem. Uh, I don't like that when it's the Independence Day, no one celebrates that, and that hurts my soul. Uh, I don't like the mentality of people saying, oh, but this is Slovenia, that's not gonna work here, but they haven't even tried it yet, and they already gave up. That I don't like. I like that it's very peaceful. People are nice at the same time, which is really good. Uh, very nice, very... Um, friendly, kind, I like the views here in Slovenia, uh, where like you can go wherever you want and it's so close, everything is like right there, let's go to the coast, right there, yeah. Uh, do you miss Colombia? I do, of course, I do. Uh, like I said before, uh, when I need to celebrate something, I cannot do it here. So at times like that, I'm like, uh, I wish I were in Colombia. Okay. Do you speak Slovenian? What do you think about our language? Was it difficult to learn? It is difficult to learn. And it's probably going to take at least eight years to learn completely. Uh, because of the words and the categories and all these uh, and being changing all the time all the words change depending on what you're talking about and it's, uh, that, I think that's the biggest problem for, for foreigners here but it's getting there it's getting there okay what are schools in Colombia like? Could you describe a typical school day in Colombia? Ah, this is fun. It's different also. We use uniforms. All the school, like 90% of the schools in Colombia use uniforms. So it's more tight and the year, the academic year is different. So we start in February and we finish in November. But we have vacation in the middle, like one month or something. 
Back to you and your life in Slovenia. Could you describe your typical day in Slovenia? My typical day in Slovenia? I don't have a typical day in Slovenia. Every day is different. But what I do when I don't have to do anything, uh, I sit down to make music or animations. Um, but when I have to do something, I have to, for example, go to work or go someplace else because there's something to do there or meet some friends or anything and every day is different. Uh, visits, parties. So yeah. So you were talking about the music you're making. Um, what's the music like? That you're um, well, my music is mostly electronic, like electronic pop, electronic rock or electro house or everything that has to do with electronic music, uh, with some guitars and acoustic stuff and, and uh, uh, yeah, electronic music and pop or hip hop too, sometimes rock. That's what I do. So what's your name in like music? My name in music, one of my names is next November. The other ones I won't tell you. Okay. What do you do in your free time? In my free time, I like to watch football. Not the American football, but the normal football. Uh, I like to talk to my friends, go out, uh, you know, sit down for a coffee or a beer. You know, I find like uh, traveling, that's good too. I like to drive a lot, so I go one day to to a week because I just wanted to go to do that day or the coast. That's what I do. What are your plans for the future? <sighs> win four Grammys. Um, I don't know. Like I don't really have like a plan for the future. I am trying to do something for the present, but hopefully that is gonna help me for the future. But I don't really have like a set mind what's gonna happen in the future because I don't know what's gonna happen in the future maybe I'm not gonna be here or whatever you know it's try to enjoy as much as I can the moment okay and how are you going to spend this summer this summer don't do that at home keys um, well I have well, I have to work in the summer. I have a photo sport camp with uh, teenagers, so I'm going to be working here in Pretoria. Um, also, I'm trying to go to Croatia with some friends, with some Colombian friends that are coming over. My sister is coming also with cousins and friends, so I'm going to be busy during the summer being a tour guide. Okay, David, thank you for this interview and all the best in your life. Thank you! Oh yeah! For you too, uh, Gospel Rusha. Ujma.